Hello, welcome. Today we'll be looking at basic operators in Python. Basic operators in Python. Basic operators in Python. What are operators? Operators which can manipulate the value of operands. And operators can as constructs which can manipulate the value of operands. Let's now look at types of operators. The following are types of operators. First is arithmetic operators. Second is comparison operators, which can also be called relational operators. Another type of operators are assignment operators. Another type logical operators, another type bitwise operators, another type membership, and also another type identity operators. So these are some of the operators we have in Python. So we are going to start with arithmetic operators, which is the first one here. The first one we are going to look at is called addition operator. Addition operator. So basically addition operator adds values on either side of the operator. It has value on either side of the operator. Let's first declare two variables. Let's call one x and let's say that is 15. Oh no, let's say that is uh, 48. Y is... Uh, let me see, 6. Y is 6. Let's make Y 5. So these are two operator, uh, two variables we've declared. X 48, Y is 5. So let's look at the addition operator. Of course, we'll be using the print statement so that we'll see on the console the result of the operators. So let's say we want to add x and y. Plus y. So what this does is it adds values on either side of the operator. The next we'll be looking at is, let me put better comments, addition hats. The next one is subtraction. Print x minus y. So the comment here is that it subtracts right and operand from the left and 
up and subside right hand of the cup left hand up front. The next one we look at is multiplication. So let's say print x multiplied by y. So the comment multiplication this multiplies values on either side of the operator print x okay this is wrong the syntax here is wrong print okay so that's right so the next one we look at is division print x divided by y so what does division do it divides left and operate up and by the right hand up and left hand by the right hand x divided by y that's what we're saying then let's now look at modulus what we can also call remainder print x so the percentage sign is the sign for modulus so what does modulus do divides let me just copy this divides the left hand upper hand Divide the left hand up round by the right hand up round. But the difference is it will return the remainder. Return remainder. So whatever is left after dividing right hand by left hand, that's 48 divided by 5, whatever is left. So now let's look at exponent. Print x. Exponent is the multiplication sign twice, or white card character if you were using SQL. So what does this do? It performs exponential calculation calculation on operators okay then I think the last one we probably will look at for arithmetic is what is called the floor division as a sign so what does the floor division do what this does is let me use capital here it will divide as the division of operands where the result is the quotient this is uh, is the quotient in which the digits after the decimal 
point are removed okay so basically i'm going to remove it's going to divide and then remove the digits after the decimal point so let's run and see what each of these print statements will give us all right so the first one x plus y 48 plus 5 is 53 the next one x minus y 48 minus 5 is 43 the next one x times y which is multiplication is 240 the next one x divided by y is 9.6 the next one which is uh, exponential device left hand by the right hand so x and it will return the remainder 48 divided by 5 that will be not, that will be 9 5 times 9 is 45 so 48 minus 45 is 3 then this is uh, exponential x times times y that's raised to the power of so 48 times 48 in 5 times will give us this figure and then the floor division will remove the decimal so 48 divided by 5 is actually 9.6 but it's removed the 0.6 to give us 9 so that is arithmetic operators let me close this console and then let's quickly look at let's retain these variables let's quickly look at comparison of operators so basically we ask ourselves what are comparison operators comparison operators are operators that compare the values on on either side of the operand and it will decide the relationship between them you can also call them relation, relational operators so if you compare the two values and then you can test whether one is equal to or greater than and then it can return true or false true or false in programming is basically a boolean data type so let's look at some of the comparison operators we'll start with the equals so we'll say print 48 print 48 this is the sign equals equals sorry print x equals equals y so to return true or false so what this does is let me write comment now if the values of the two operands are equal then the condition becomes true okay next one is the opposite of this which is print this is the not operator not equals to so print x not equals to y print x not equals to y so let me just copy to save time now if the values of the two operators operands are not equal then the condition becomes true the next one is greater than so print x greater than y and 
the explanation is if the value of the let operand is greater than the value of the right operand then the condition so this condition will become true if the left is greater than the right so let's look at another one print purpose you can guess the next one is less than y let me copy it if the value of is less than now less than is the opposite remember each will return true or false then x greater than equals to y if the value of level is greater than or equal to next one is sorry there's something wrong with that syntax greater than equals to okay it's, it's all right it's greater than, okay so the next one is less than or equals to y then if the value of letter is less than less than or equals to okay so this are some of the comparison operators so let's quickly run and then see what they return and then explain is x equals to y no so that is false is x not equals to y yes it's not equals to y that is true is x greater than y true is x less than y false is x greater than or equals to y true and is x less than or equals to y false so you can use this knowledge when using Python, even while developing maybe financial applications or any kind of application that you are working with numerical data and you need to compare the values of one or more data. So I would stop there today and then in another lecture we would look at assignment operators and logical operators probably we look at membership operators too thank you very much for your time bye